friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another collab video this one is extra extra special i am hosting this collab with some of my favorite ww youtubers i'm going to link all of their channels down in the description box below most of these youtubers are fairly new to youtube there are those people that don't have a lot of subscribers but their channels are phenomenal. So I wanted to do a collab to introduce my subscribers to them and let you know that there are a ton of other WW resources and YouTubers that you can follow to gain valuable, value, valuable WW insight, recipes, tips, and fun. So make sure that you check out all of the participants down in the description box below. And this collab again is near and dear to my heart. I decided to host it because I am always, always looking for recipes that are fast, easy, one pot recipes, 30 minutes or less, those types of recipes because I am a busy working woman and I don't have all the time in the world to be making dinner every night after work. So tonight's club is 30 minute meals. So you're going to get endless ideas for meals that take 30 minutes to prepare, start to finish, to plate and eat within 30 minutes. What can be better than that? So if you want to see the dinner that I have prepared for you guys for 30 minutes or less, mine is a one pot meal, which is even better. Then all you have to do is stay tuned. So for tonight's 30 minute meal, I am going to be making a one pot Mexi corn and beef bake. This is a Mexican dish, which is one of my all time favorite foods. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients, super easy to make, and it should be from this countertop to your plate in 30 minutes or less. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some queso. I really like the Tostitos brand. I think it has some of the best flavor, super low points. I never thought I could have queso on WW, but my friends, you sure can. We're also going to need some water, a can of corn, a can of petite diced tomatoes, a can of tomato sauce, diced green chilies. For spices, you're going to need cumin, minced onion, chili powder, and salt. You're also going to need rice. You can do white or brown, whatever your preference is. And some cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and use this fat-free cheddar and one pound of a 96.4 extra lean ground beef. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do for tonight's dinner, go ahead and get a pan warming up. You are gonna want a rather large pan because again, this is a one pot meal. So everything is going to be added to this one pan. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add in our one pound of extra lean ground beef. We are also going to add in our onion. Now I'm gonna use minced onion. You can go ahead and use a regular onion that you dice as well. This is just a huge time saver. So I'll typically use minced onion if I'm in a hurry. And I got 30 minutes, guys, to get this on my plate. So I'm gonna get my ground beef browning just a little bit, then we're gonna add some spices. Once your hamburger starts to brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in our spices so they have a chance to meld with the hamburger while it is continuing to cook. So the first thing I'm going to add is some cumin. Now. If you're new to my channel, I just wing my spices. We like our food really flavorful, so I just add in my liking of spices. Of course, you can follow the directions as well. I'm also going to be adding in some chili powder. We don't like our food super, super spicy, so I'm just gonna make sure that I don't overdo the chili powder, but I still wanna get that little bit of flavor from it. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add in some sea salt and let my meat continue to brown. Once your hamburger has browned completely, we're gonna go ahead and add in all of our tomato products. So first are our petite diced tomatoes. I love Hunt's, that is my favorite brand of tomatoes. I feel like they have the best flavor, the most authentic ingredients. So huge Hunt's fan. I'm also going to add in Hunt's tomato sauce to my pot. I think it's worth the extra money and it's really not that much more expensive than the generic brand. And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my green chilies. We're gonna give this a nice stir. Let this cook down for just about two minutes or so and then we'll be adding in our water and our rice and get that cooking down. Once it's cooked for just a couple of minutes, give it a quick stir. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and add in two cups of rice. 
And then we are also going to add in two cups of water. And we're gonna pop this on to high so that it comes to a rolling boil and pop a lid on it. And we're gonna let this cook down for about 15 minutes. So it's taken me all of six minutes so far to brown that hamburger and then add all of these ingredients. So we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes or until the rice is cooked through. Once your rice has completely cooked through, it took just shy of 20 minutes. So right now I'm about 25 minutes in. We are in the final stages of our 30 minute meal. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add in my can of corn. And this is room temperature and I did go ahead and drain it. And then also I'm going to add in one half of a cup of my Tostitos queso. So this should be amazing in this dish. I'm gonna give these two things a nice big stir and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my fat-free cheese. Once you've stirred in your queso and your corn, the last step is to add in three quarters of a cup of fat-free or light shredded cheese. Now, if you decide to use light shredded cheese, make sure you adjust the point accordingly. 28 minutes, my dinner is done. I'm gonna give it a stir, plate it up, and it will be on our table in 30 minutes as promised. All right, here is the completed dinner. 29 minutes on my plate. Super great weeknight meal, super low points. I wasn't sure exactly how many servings the recipe was going to make because I did modify a non-WW friendly recipe. Of course, I will link it down in the description box below. But I decided to go the six serving route and one serving is a heaping cup. This is a full size dinner plate. And so this is all of my dinner. Look at that. It is so cheesy. The queso has amazing flavor. Amazing. This is honestly one of my favorite dishes that I've ever made in the Mexican genre. It is so good. This entire plate is only five smart points. So if you did four servings, which would be huge, it would be almost two full cups. It would be seven smart points. So depending on how hungry you are that night, but I think one heaping cup is plenty for me for a total of five smart points. Thank you for joining me on our my 30 minute meal collab. I hope you enjoyed seeing the dinner that I shared with you guys tonight. It is so good. I mean, this dinner is phenomenal, super easy. I literally had it from start to finish prepared and on our plates in 30 minutes. Crazy. Those are the kind of meals that I need on a busy work day. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of the channels that participated in this collab down in the description box below. I'm betting most of them you haven't heard of or seen their videos and they're all wonderful women and I'm so blessed to have them as part of my WW YouTube community and I wanna share their channels with all of you. So thank you for watching. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you came over from one of the other channels in this collab, let me know down in the comments below so I can thank them. And if you're headed over to check out their channels, make sure you let them know that I sent you. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know, do you like this 30 minute meal idea because it can be introduced as a series on my channel? And of course, let me know what you thought of tonight's dinner. And I'll see you guys in my next video.